Hey guys, this is Einar. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, welcome to tutorial number 15 in our course in Basic Statistics uh, 1 in Excel. Today we're going to talk about histograms. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to show you a little trick that I didn't show you in the bar chart part because I wanted you to really know how to work with the um, um, data in, uh, in diagrams. But you could also do, uh, do this little trick when you're creating a histogram or a bar chart. It's that you select the data both the categories and the frequencies that you're interested in creating a, a diagram from. You then go to insert, then you go to column and you choose. We're going to choose the same thing as before, the second, the 2D uh, simple uh, graph over here. And we get a bar chart to begin with. Now if you look at this bar chart, um, you, you already have the categories in here and you already have the bars and everything. Um, but this isn't going to be a bar chart, it's going to be a histogram. And the point with a histogram is to show that a variable is continuous by combining these bars um, together. So like showing theoretically that there is no, no set different. We're not talking about discrete variables. Mm, we're talking about continuous variables. So the, in order to do this, we need to remove this space between the bars. Now one way of doing this is you select, you click once on one of the bars. It doesn't matter which one. You right click and you choose Format Data Series. In this menu, you have uh, a, a setting here called Gap Width. Now if I choose to increase this, you see that the, the, the width between these bars increases and the bars themselves decrease in size. I could also uh, go back and choose not to have any gap at all. Now this is very useful uh, because I can create a histogram and I can even go in and I can create uh, diagram, as we call it in Swedish. I don't know what the English term is actually. But this is the way you can move from, from bar charts to stolp diagram to histograms. But for now we're going to create a histogram. We want the fill, as before, to vary by point. And theoretically this might not be correct because this implies that these categories are, are different variables, which they're not. But I think it could be helpful to at least know how to do it so you could s separate more between the bars and make it more clear. So we're going to do it this time anyway. I'm closing that. Uh, I would remove these uh, if I were you. I don't think they fit very well in there. Um, these categories can actually be useful in this case since we have um, so huge bars. So I would say keep them if you're going to have them in different colors. If you're going to have them in the same color, delete this. But we do want to enter a title for our histogram so it's clear what we're talking about. So I right click it, I choose select data, and in this series 1 I choose to edit it and I enter the series name which is ages. And now we get ages up there. So it's, it's clear what we're talking about. And that's how you create a histogram using Excel. Um, I hope you have fun playing around with this uh, histogram. Uh, try changing the settings and building Stolp Diagram, as you call them in Swedish, if you want. Um, but for now, I hope to see you in tutorial number 16, and I hope you have a good day. Cheers!